on the Dempster Highway now for, this is day number three, although my days have been short thus far. I've been doing some hiking and, and exploring, but uh, today's going to be a long day and tomorrow will be as well. I need to get up to Tuck uh, by this weekend, so I need to put some mileage in. Um, yeah, I'm at about mile 165. I still have a hard time grasping that this road is 500 plus miles long and it's uh, dirt and bumpy. There are some sections of the road where you can get up to about 50 or 60 miles an hour, but today it's been like this um, most of the way, kind of slow going and bumpy and you just got to take your time. I've seen a few vehicles pass, not today, I haven't seen any vehicles today, but um, I've seen some vehicles drive by at 60 or 80 miles an hour on some of these sections. To me, it's just crazy. Uh, there's just too much wildlife and uh, this road will just beat up your vehicle. I've seen a couple of vehicles down in the ditch and down in the riverbed newer modern vehicles that clearly didn't make the turn or went off the road and crashed and um, apparently that's the procedure up here is uh, if you crash your car and it's just left for dead um, I guess the expense of getting a tow truck up here and having it towed out is just not worth it so I guess the insurance company just writes it off anyway I saw a grizzly bear yesterday run across the road and um, haven't seen much else yet. Uh, the color is amazing. Uh, the reds and the yellows. Definitely getting into some, I want to say flatter sections. The mountains aren't quite as big and pronounced as they have been, but um, I'm un to understand I'm going to cross a mountain range here in a little bit before I take my first ferry crossing. Anyway, it's been a good trip. It's just like I said, slow going and uh, the scenery has been great. And um, not, not a lot of folks up here. It was uh, 35 degrees this morning. And I, I'm told they're calling for some rain today. That was just by a passerby I ran into yesterday. There has not, I have not had any kind of internet or any kind of phone service in three days. And I, I probably won't have any until I get back to Dawson City next week. But we'll see. There are a couple of small towns I'll pass through. Maybe service there, but I'm not counting on it. some construction going on up here along the road although I haven't seen any of these vehicles in use aha here comes somebody now spoke too soon that's the first sign of life I've seen all day and I've been on the road for about two hours Looks like they are doing some construction up here. I'm not sure exactly what. I think most of the construction involves just grading this road. I, I, I'm told it deteriorates pretty quick after it rains. And with some of the heavier truck traffic that passes through here, getting fuel supplies to Innovic and Fort McPherson. Anyway, I'm gonna shut this thing off and focus on driving here for a few minutes. I just <clears throat> passed through Eagle Plains, uh, which is not much. Got a little hotel there, got a filling station, a little garage restaurant, campground, that's about it. Just bought gas. Uh, didn't really need it. I still had 250 miles to empty, but 
you know, you're told to fill up every chance you get. So anyway, um, yeah, gas was, I don't know, eight, eight and a quarter a gallon after you do the math conversion from liters to, anyway, fortunately I only needed less than half a tank. Anyway, my next stop will be Fort McPherson after lunch. I'll probably stay somewhere between there and Inuvik tonight. Plenty of places to pull off into the woods and camp. I'm, I'm amazed how mountainous, mountainous it is still out here. I was totally expecting it to flatten out, but um, it, is, it is quite hilly. Um, in fact, I believe I have reached the Arctic Circle. Pull in here and see what's going on. Yep, finally. After two weeks of driving and about 4,500 miles, I finally reached the Arctic Circle. Anyway, I still have a couple days worth of driving to get to Tuck, but uh, definitely worth a stop over here and get some pictures and kind of take this all in. But just crossed the Arctic Circle there was actually pretty spectacular where the sign was uh, and the view along this road just keeps getting better um, the colors are amazing the mountains are amazing um, it's just uh, it's totally been worth the trip when I on day one on this road I was amazed how slippery and nasty it was it had been raining all that day and Tell you what a contrast it's completely dry the amount of dust that is produced driving down this road is mind-boggling if you saw the back of my truck it is absolutely caked like i have never seen it caked in dirt it's just unbelievable you can see vehicles coming for miles and miles just on uh, just on the dust trail that they're leaving in their wake Anyway, I've seen a few campers up here and uh, I could not even imagine, and here comes one right now in fact, I could not imagine driving a camper uh, or pulling it, uh, or pulling any kind of trailer on this road, honestly. Um, I mean, this thing beats a vehicle up pretty good and knowing how those things are made, I just couldn't even imagine what this road does to those things. I've seen several pulled over on the side of the road changing tires um, on, on the campers as well. I know that the trailer tires are not made very well, comparatively speaking to a truck tire, but uh, anyway, they're here doing it and my hat's off to them, but I would not want to, I would not want to own one of those after they're done with it. Anyway, I'll, I'll give you a little view out the back so you can see what the dust looks like. And I'm only doing 40, just over 40 miles an hour. I've seen people coming down this road at 60, 70, and 80, and the, the dust is just unbelievable. So, anyway, I'm uh, on my way to Fort McPherson. I've got two ferry crossings before Inuvik. I don't know if I'll make Inuvik tonight or not. I'm going to try. I'd like to get to Tuck tomorrow. have an extra day there. I really want to get my paddleboard out in the Arctic Ocean have a little bit of time there when I get there. So let me sign off for now.
I have reached the mighty Mackenzie River. Uh, here, the government provides a ferry for you to get across the river. And uh, so here I am, waiting on the ferry, which I see right over there. Anyway, I'm about three hours from Inuvik, and I will be staying somewhere in that area tonight. The terrain has gotten very flat. Still beautiful, but flat. And it's warmed up nicely. It's about 70 degrees. And blue skies. See how dirty my truck has gotten. I haven't passed a clean vehicle in four days out here. I don't know if I should feel sorry for my bike more or my my truck. Those are going to require a pretty good pressure washing. Anyway, move. Put this thing down and uh, wait for the ferry. Well, this is quite the contrast from what I experienced this morning. I've been on this road now for an hour and it has not changed one single bit. It's been straight as an arrow, white, dusty gravel, and uh, not a lot to see. It's kind of pretty in its own right, but. Uh, Definitely not like what I was experiencing this morning. So definitely flat. The only color I'm seeing is right along the edge of the road and it's covered with dirt, dust. Anyway, I'm um, about an hour. Yeah, I'm an hour maybe, a little bit less than an hour from where I am uh, probably going to call it there or outside of there somewhere I'll find a place to pull off and camp. I may actually, uh, I'm told there's a place to eat there, I may actually get something to eat. I've been eating canned food and food in pouches for the last few weeks. Looks like a car's coming here, so I'm going to this camera down and focus on my driving. Greetings from the Dempster Highway. It's uh, about 6 uh, 30 in the morning. Got an early start this morning. Um, I left uh, Inuvik where I camped and uh, today I am headed to Tuck and I should be there mid-morning. It's definitely gotten a little narrower after leaving Inuvik and it's a little bumpier, not terrible, but you definitely can't keep the speeds up like I had yesterday. We, I, yesterday you could do 50 and 60 miles an hour in some sections that were really wide. Although the dust was bad, it was more than comfortable enough to drive it near interstate speeds and past vehicles coming the opposite way but uh, today yeah it's definitely uh, you definitely got to slow down the road is a lot curvier there's a lot more gravel on the top so it's you slide run a little bit and you just don't have nearly as much room for passing oncoming traffic not that there has been any oncoming traffic this morning I don't know if I will see any this morning but anyway, the scenery is uh, still spectacular. Um, lots of lakes and ponds, and you can't really see it, but the color is still here. You got a lot of yellow and reds, and um, it's real hilly, certainly no mountains. I can see some in the distance off to the west, but um, 
done. This is an order store to the east. I you can see. Anyway, I'm hoping to get to Tuck uh, mid morning and I'm going to get my paddle board out and uh, hopefully get in the water and do some paddle boarding. It's 50 degrees. Yesterday we hit 70, maybe 72. So that would be spectacular if we could get. That warm. I don't know if it'll be that warm on the Arctic Ocean though, with the water influence, but anyway, I got plenty of clothes and I can always layer up. But uh, anyway, that's the plan, and I'm gonna enjoy this drive. Looks like there's some sew machines and some ATVs over here. It's interesting the things you see along this road, it makes you scratch your head. I've seen a couple of snow machines snowmobiles parked on the edge of the road and then off in the distance you'll see a little hut or tent where clearly somebody is living or maybe they live in the winter time or maybe they just come out here to hunt or fish um, it is hunting season up here so uh, and most of this land is Native American land of some sort, so I'm sure they are out hunting. Anyway, I've been watching the sunrise for the last almost two hours now. It still hasn't come up yet. It is kind of cloudy, but it takes forever uh, to get light. It also takes forever for it to get dark up here. down and uh, continue my trek to It's uh, Sunday, the 4th of September. I am in Tombstone Provincial Park. I uh, spent the night down by Engineer Creek last night after about a 10-hour drive from Tuck. It was a long day in the car, but the weather held out until last night. About an hour after dinner, um, the rain rolled in. Um, the timing couldn't be better, though. I was had a chance to get a walk in, make a fire, have dinner, and uh, by that point it was about time to go to bed anyway. So anyway, I'm in Tombstone Provincial Park. I drove up a service road to this microwave, our 2A microwave relay station. Um, kind of a rugged road, but it uh, looked interesting and it went straight up this mountain, so I thought I'd drive up here. Anyway, it's a uh, 
temperatures in the upper 30s around 40 kind of breezy uh, on and off rain it's actually pretty brutal outside uh, with the wind um, not a not a good day to go hiking unfortunately I'm, I was really hoping to get out and hike today or ride my bike but unless it dries up a little bit I'm just it just does not look enjoyable to get out there but uh, anyway I've got to make uh, Alaska by tomorrow they close the border on top of the world highway they close the border tomorrow so I'm gonna be in Dawson City later today and then try to get across the border um, around supper time to make uh, to get into Alaska otherwise I've got to go around and it's I don't know, it's like a full day or maybe even longer travel to get all the way around to where I need to be but anyway it's even though it's kind of dismal and cloudy and cold and rainy it's still beautiful in its own right up here um, yesterday's drive was pretty spectacular um, even though I had come through here a few days earlier it was you're seeing different things Anyway, I'm going to um, get back on the road and uh, slowly work my way south to the end of the dumpster, which is about, uh, I don't know, maybe, a nah, maybe 50 or 60 miles. Well, I was just talking about the weather and how cold it is and whether it could snow or not. Apparently it did snow or it is snowing now on those... Uh, on those peaks up there you probably can't see it uh, with this camera but yeah those the tops of that mountain and, and some of these mountains have a light dusting of snow on them I don't know if it's actively snowing or if it snowed last night but when I came through here five days ago or whatever it was yeah there was there was a couple of pockets of snow down in some of the shady spots but no that is clearly fresh snow so um, Anyway, yeah, the drive today is much, much slower with the, the rain. Uh, the road is, I mean, as you can see, it's, it's, it's bumpy. I mean, you cannot drive. There's just sections of this road where you cannot drive fast. It'll just beat you to death. Um, that's why you, if you're going to come up here with this being a dead-end road, 500 and some odd miles long each way, you, you better give yourself at least a week, probably, um, to make the, the, the trip it's just otherwise you're just gonna be driving all day um, anyway yeah when you're when you're doing 30 20 25 30 miles an hour in sections it just takes a long time to get up here 